What is up, YouTube? How are you doing? It's me, Ken and Miko, aka Ocean Crash, guys. Let's talk about it. You guessed it. 90 days of creatine use. Three months of me on creatine. And guys, I got to talk to you guys about my story with the creatine. And I've been loving it so much, guys. It's been phenomenal for me. Creatine has been working very well. So I had an issue before um, where I would work out and I wouldn't gain the mass, you know. And I know, I know, you want to do heavy reps, okay, you know, as many reps as you can, heavy reps, heavy weight, I know. I did I did very heavy. I would probably pump out probably three or four, you know, reps in a set. And I was, I was hitting my PRs, guys. I was like, I was going at it. If it was like my max PR, I would do like one or two reps. But I mean, I was I was really really pushing it, and I would feel the tear. I would get the stiff sore arms. I'd be like, ah, can't feel my arms. Ah, you know, I had that feeling, you know. But I just wouldn't get big. I wouldn't. My 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 biceps, my forearms would get big, but my biceps were not growing. I was like, what's going on? So I didn't know what to do, and you know, and I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit with what I'm taking currently. Um, but just to show you the creatine I'm taking, I'm taking naked creatine right now, um, and this has been this has worked wonders for me. I'm not gonna lie, I've I've been taking this, and my my arms have been getting bigger. And I'll show you guys in a little bit how I'm how I'm looking. I don't kind of was debating whether I want to take my shirt off on camera, but <laughs> I will, um, maybe uh, we'll see. Um, but yeah, I take naked creatine right now. This is kind of like the stats behind it. Just you know, creatine. It's pure monohydrate uh, creatine. Um, there's nothing else behind it, but it's great. Monohydrate. Um, yeah, certified vegan, certified gluten-free, GMO-free, no artificial sweeteners, flavors, or colors, and only one ingredient, pure creatine monohydrate. So yeah, it's pretty good. I take this all the time. I take two scoops, um, which is five grams each scoop. So it's about 10 grams every time, every day. Uh, no off days. If I do miss, it's normal. I just continue back with my daily regimen of 10 grams a day. Two scoops. So I do that. Um, and like I said, if I miss, I just continue. But there are days I do miss. Uh, so it says, um, it says one scoop is 1.5 teaspoons. So I take three teaspoons of it. Um, and it says add one scoop to 14 to 16 ounces of your beverage and choice, beverage of choice. And um, I'm gonna talk about my experience right now with creatine, uh, but before I do that, I'm gonna talk about some other things that I take as well that may contribute to my creatine gains. Um, I take a Muscle Farm uh, BCAA Essentials, um, and uh, I mean, it's good for post and pre-workout, it's good for preventing um, any soreness and stiffness in my muscles after a workout, so I love it to be honest with you, it works good. I only have a one problem with, with this with this specific product. Um, I used to take this uh, BCA's Muscle Farms, but it was a little bit different. Um, this is, I think, it's uh, Fruit Punch. I used to take Blueberry, um, and it was like an older formula they were using. But this new one, it it hurts my stomach sometimes. And I, I mean, it's just me. My brother takes it; he has no issues with it. But there are times I'll take this and I'll get a weird feeling in my stomach, like a cramp in my stomach almost. I don't know. But I'm kind of conservative uh, with this. Um, but I take one scoop. Um, you guys, you can see the medical stats here really quick. Focus. Very nice. Very good. 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 Focus. Focus. I really got to upgrade my camera. Anyways, um, it's not uh, L-U-Sign. I'm going to pronounce this incorrectly. L-U-Sign, three grams. Um, L-V-Line, two grams. And l isoleucine one gram. Um, now, I did watch a YouTube video of, uh, I always forget his name, it kills me. He's a famous YouTuber. I watched one of his videos, and he breaks down a lot of, like, he does, like, he has, like, Myth-Busting Mondays. He's got Technique, uh, and Technique Tuesdays, I think it's called. Um, anyways, I forgot his name. But um, I watched a lot of his videos, and he kind of breaks down, like, chemicals and pre and post-workouts, and he talks a lot about those chemicals. So... On top of these two, I also take protein. My protein changes right now. I'm in the research process of trying to find another protein product, um, but I eat I, I eat a lot of protein, generally speaking, anyways. So um, on top of that, I also have more protein powder and stuff like that. But I'm in the process of trying to find a good brand. So if you guys know of a brand, you know, comment section down below. I'd love to look at your brands that you would recommend for me. But on top of that, I take Huel. 
Now, the heel I really mainly take is, has nothing to do with my creatine, but I take it for my uh, meal replacements for my intermittent fasting. So I do my intermittent fasting fasts, which is about 18 hour fasts. Um, and then I break my fast with a Huel shake, which is about 400 calories per serving. Um, if you want a snack, it's 200 calories. Yeah, so yeah, so it's based on a, what does it say? Five servings per day gets you about 2,000. So they recommend if you want to not eat anything, which they don't recommend you do, but some people are dumb and they do it. They only have five scoops, um, which is about 2,000 calories. So about that. Yeah, so I only have one shake, two scoops, 400 calories. So that's what I usually do. Um, is it two scoops? Yeah, two scoops. I was going to say, I was like, wait a second. But um, yeah, that's kind of what I'm doing. And uh, my intermittent fast goes very well with kind of uh, with what I've been doing. And um, and I'll be honest with you, I've been tracking. I, I take pictures of my body, you know, like normal people at the gym after my workouts, just to keep progress photos. And the creatine has done some phenomenal stuff for me. Um, let me show you my arms now. And this is just me kind of um, kind of me talking about it. And I think a lot of my gains also came in my shoulders. My shoulders have been popping out like crazy. And it's been really great. I've been happy with the results. Uh, I would say with my shoulders, it's more so my technique and workout strength. But I would say my biceps growth have really come from the creatine. Um, so, so my muscles, I've always had an issue with trying to get mass in my arms. Okay. And it's always usually been the issue where um, I can't get I can't, I just can't get mass and I, my PRs would go up with my bicep curls and my PRs would go up with a lot of my other workouts, you know, concentrated curls or whatever it is, but I, my arms wouldn't get bigger. And it was at an awkward point where my forearms were, were bigger and bulkier than my biceps. And I was like, this looks proportionally disgusting and doesn't even look attractive. And aesthetically you don't really feel like you look like a guy who goes to the gym you're like this guy does not he, he skips like he looked sick so i was like i gotta fix this my PRs are going up my muscle density is obviously going up according to my dexa scans something's going on with my mass so i resorted to creatine creatine in case you guys don't know adds water in between your muscle fibers so that when they tear during a workout um not really tear uh, when the fibers like rip in, in your arms and your biceps um, what happens is uh, your body sends um, kind of like proteins correct me if I'm mistaken um, to rebuild and patch on top of the tear so you say you have a tear right here you tear the fiber what happens is it'll inflame and it'll stack below and on top fibers to patch up that tear and that adds mass and um, they don't like rip but they, it's like, imagine like you take a gum, you stretch it, stretch it too much. Um, and what happens is it grows, it expands. In order for that to happen, you need protein and you need water. Um, that's why creatine is great because what creatine does, it adds the water in between your fibers. And you can kind of find pictures of it on YouTube or that could be a poor job explaining it. But that's the general idea of it is when you work out and you're getting sore, your, your muscles are actually ripping, not literally like in half but they're like the fibers are ripping you get the point <laughs> um but um and show you my other arm so so this is it's like i said it's been going great for me um and it's been really helping me with my um with my muscle transformation and my muscle growth and the way the way i've been wanting to get it to work now like i said the other the other gain the other gain has really been coming in my shoulders, and I'll show you guys that later. But man, my shoulders, they're getting bigger, and you guys can kind of see, like, so I guess a good way you can tell when someone has good shoulders is when they have that natural bulk and mass in their shoulders without flexing. Now, before, mine was relatively flat, but I'm not even flexing now, and I don't, like, I mean, the only way you can really flex your shoulders is, like, pushing your arms back. You kind of get this bump. So, like, if I push it back, you see how I have that bump there? I mean, like, you're raising your arm too. So, I mean, you kind of get like a, your, your muscles like kind of like condense. But like, if you're resting, there are some people who they have their arms like this and they got these huge, huge, you know, upper backs, you know, and not really shoulders, upper backs. And you're just like, these guys work upper back a lot. And that's what's been happening with me. My upper back's really been popping out. Um, so yeah, guys, I mean, I'm elaborating, going on too far, but creatine's been working phenomenal for me. 90 days. 
Would I recommend it? Yes. Negative side effects. I'm gaining weight. And I mean, this is kind of to be expected when you're taking creatine. I'm gaining muscles, uh, of course. So that's going to contribute. And I, and what creatine does is it, it allows you to retain more water. So water weight. Um, which, which in theory, you're like, oh, I don't want more water weight. Well, that's how creatine works. It helps your body hold more water. So it helps you grow muscles faster and bigger and stronger. So um, it helps you with your mass. And I, I've dedicate a lot of my help and support with this to the geniuses at um juji mufu and tom's discord juji and tom i kind of go to their discord a lot ask a lot of uh, workout questions so they're pretty phenomenal with that as well um i did not buy their creatine because it was a little bit too expensive and it was also sold out <laughs> so um, i ended up getting naked creatine and set off amazon so um, i do recommend this it has really great reviews as well so but um i highly recommend you guys check out juji and tom's um YouTube channel, they're pretty funny too, they're comedic in the, in the process, but the Discord is also great to talking to a bunch of people who take things a little bit more seriously than they do, um, but uh, but yeah, um, cons, like I said, the weight, pros, it just helps you build muscle, now a lot of people say, creatine is dumb, all it does is add water, and then it doesn't do anything else, well, no, that's not true, <laughs> I mean, it does add water, but it's good for helping you gain mass. If you want to gain bigger arms faster, quicker, um, it's nice because it gives your muscles more room to expand. So you kind of like, it just gives more rooms for the muscles to expand. And you know, and this is kind of how it looks. It kind of looks weird that I'm doing it with my hands. I should put up a picture instead, but I'm lazy. So basically you tear your muscles uh, or you, you work out, you rip the fibers to kind of help expand muscle growth. What happens is the inside, we're right here, so inside my hand are the muscle fibers. They rip while I'm working out, you can't see it, so what happens is they expand, because they're kind of like swelling. And then what happens is your proteins come in, and your water comes in to heal it, and then it stays like this, because you're gaining muscle. That's how you gain muscle. The proteins go in, they heal the ripped fibers, and you grab new, your fibers expand. They swell up and they stay that way. Um, and that's healthy, you want that, that's how you gain muscle, so. Um, I'm not a doctor. Uh, I don't, I'm not an expert. <laughs> um, I do a lot of reading, but I have a bad time of using correct terminology when it comes to certain muscle explanations. So I highly recommend you watch other videos out there if you want to get deeper explanations. But this is my journey on 90 days of creatine and I love it. It's working great for me. I would recommend it. Um, yeah, the only thing I recommend is if you don't do weights, if you don't work out, this is another thing. Uh, it's very, very important to say. If you're taking creatine, you need to work out. Like you need to do muscle. You need to do weights. Like you're not, you're not going to see results if you take creatine. You don't do weights. All you're doing is putting on water. Okay, that's the problem. Because people usually they say, "Oh, I'll just put on water." Well, the problem is if you don't do weights, like you don't get that pump and you don't get sore and stiff, then creatine is not going to do anything. It's just going to add water, and then when you get off of it, the water is going to go away. Like, if that's the case, just don't take creatine. <laughs> like, it's not for you. Creatine is meant for people who want to bulk, who want to get bigger arms, bigger muscles. Creatine will help with that. It assists in the expansion of your muscles to make them bigger. Like I said, if you're not going to... Because a lot of people, they say, oh, I do weights. Well, I'm like, oh, what are your weights? Is... Oh, I go do, you know, 60 total reps of all my whole entire arms, or, you know, my whole entire workout, and I'm not sore when I'm done. And I wake up and I'm not sore. Well, if you're not sore when you're work, doing after your workout and you're not sore the next two, three mornings, then that means that you're not really pushing your body to pain, you know, no pain, no gain. You want to feel your arms are tired. Like you want to, I always tell people that last push, that, ah, that last push you're doing on that last curl that is muscle gain. That right there is what is going to help you gain muscle. And that's what a lot of problem is with people who take creatine is they don't work out correctly, thus concurring that they think creatine doesn't work. It doesn't work correctly. Well, no, it's you're not working out correctly. So creatine goes hand in hand 100% with two things. The amount you work out, you need to work out a lot and you need to feel it. Like it's not just about doing the weights. You need to feel the workout that's when creatine will come in and help you. And two, you need to drink a lot of water. 
when you're taking creatine, creatine itself doesn't make water, but it attracts the water and it adds more water. So like it doesn't make it. Uh, the water only comes from your you when you consume it. It doesn't grab water out of fat or anything like that. Um, so it just re- helps your body retain more of it. Um, I could be mistaken, mistaken. It could grab a little bit of water out of your fat, but it doesn't grab it all from your fat. I know that for a fact. So um, anyways, that's my kind of spiel on my experience, my 90 day experience with intermittent or <laughs> with creatine. <laughs> um, I hope I haven't said that any other time in the video. But um, but yes, that is my 90 day experience with creatine. And I've loved it. Um, it's working great for me. Um, but it does help you gain weight. Just keep that in mind. Uh, with your muscle gain, because when you do it, you're not going to be just gaining muscle, but you're going to be gaining water weight. So it'll be hand in hand. So um, if you keep in mind your weight will go up. Um, off creatine alone, it'll go up about you know five to ten pounds, depending on your body type and style. So, anyways, I love it. I would recommend it. I hope you guys take it if you need it. If you work out a lot, I love you. Till later. Till next time. Bye. Peace. Woo.